Hello. This game was nominated by Ben8473. He suggested that I play Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Oh my god, it's the BBC. But, uh, yeah, I never played this, so maybe it's good. Steel monkeys. That reminds me that there's a Sea Monkeys game on PlayStation. No, we can't. I'm skipping the cutscene because I don't want to be flagged for copyright. But yeah, it's time to play our first preschool game on the console. Can we build it? Knock it. Can we build it? Knock it down. That's that's great. Uh, sure. This, I've never played this before, and I, I've come to a decision that for the longer games, I might. We'll use your wrecking ball to knock down each pillar. Press the X button to swing the ball. For the longer games, I'm going to actually try and, and play and experience it myself first. I'll record the original uh, experience, but it's better off if. Uh... Great, good job, Lofty. I know what I'm doing. Good job, Lofty. Oh, I can see this getting annoying very quickly. Good job, Lofty. Oh, got him doing it. Great. These Good things job, have like Lofty. huge hitboxes. Nearly. Try a little closer, Lofty. And it seems like there's no consequence for failure. Good job, Lofty. You know, this would be easier if Lofty wasn't going back and forth. If, if you're wondering, Bob the Builder is one of those shows that I, I don't have experience with. I, I don't think I've seen much of it. Back. One, two, two. There are only three mini games in this. What the fuck? Help! Back. That's it. Move Lofty's hook over a piece using the directional buttons, and pick it up using the X button. I know this game was aimed at like color little, little kids, but underneath. that's insulting. Press the X button to drop it in. Place each item before you pick up the next one. Can you get the next section now? Yeah. This game is just yeah, it's yes. insulting. Good work. We can build it. Uh Bob. I yes, have Lofty? I have to skip this. No. Well, this game is going to go by quickly. Uh, but Move the bowl around the screen using the directional buttons until Pilchard's snores get louder. This means you are closer to where she's hiding. But I guess this means uh, I can get my my counter up. Dinner time, Pilchard. Come and get it. Oh yay! This is perfect what I want in a building game. Feeding a, a cat. Alright, let's see if you can make it hard. hard. Yeah. It was... Hard. Yes. Okay, so hard. Let's see if it still isn't solving. Lofty. We'll use your wrecking ball to knock down each pillar. Press the X button. Yeah, I get it. What did they fill the CD with? Because I can imagine like 95% of it is just empty. Good 
job, Luffy. Wow, this is just minimal as hell. Good job, Luffy. Good job, Luffy. Yeah, the bridge is down. No. Honestly, just get them the Tonka game for DOS if they're into building and shit. No, no you know what? Get them a, a fucking Lego game. Yeah, get them a Lego game. That'll that'll be much better. And I then again, I hear that the Lego Island game for the PlayStation is not very good. And anything's better than this. Can you get the next section now? I mean, at least it's functional, but it, it's just so lazy. Right. Uh, but just because we're can releasing it to very now? little kids means we can release anything, right? They won't give a shit. Yes! Good work! We can build it! And I love this absolutely patronizing voice. No. Move the bowl around the screen using the directional button. There's only three mini games. Where can she be? Dinner time. And one of them takes less than five seconds to play. Help back. Help. Yes. Always choose your difficulty level before starting your game. Use the directional buttons to change a difficulty level, then press the X button. One hat is easy, two hats are medium, and three hats are hard. Choose a... Oh, what's this? Can't... More minigames. Okay, that's... Porcupine Rescue. Well, I'm just have Lofty. And Pilchard. Okay, so there are more than four mini games. It's, it's still simplistic and lazy. Hook over a piece of pipe using the directional buttons, and pick it up using the X button. Move the pipe over the hole you think it should. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'm I'm sure I'll figure it out. That's it, Lofty. Yeah. This is this. That's it, Lofty. Should just have your kid play Pipe Mania on the NES. Yes, that's great. The porcupines will be safe now. And keep in mind. I've been playing video games since I was six years old, and I probably would have found this shit even at the age of six. Move the bowl around. Oh, not this again. Where can she be? Hit. Take a fucking food. Dinner time, Pilchard. Come and get it. Meow. Meow. No. It's the same game twice. Like, what the hell? Scary spot. It's the same game three times. What the hell? Man, maybe it's a common oh. thing in the show. Where Pilchard is lost in every single episode. It's still way too minimal for this game. At least the FMVs look Always good. Always scare the nearest crows first using the directional buttons. Follow crows to the edge of the field to stop them from coming back. If a crow is not scared off by Spud running, make him blow raspberries using the X button. Hmm.
there's no like energy, so you could just keep. All you have to do is just keep holding or tapping X. And we're running around with a farting scarecrow. Okay. Dude's got some real flatulence going on. Should probably lay off the beans. And the graphics do look pretty uh, surprisingly good for this kind of game. Pilchard. Move the bowl around the screen using the directional buttons until Pilchard's snores get louder. This means you are closer to where she's hiding. Oh, you gonna try to make it harder this time? Where can she be? Where can she be? Where can she be? No. Dinner time, Pilchard. Come and get it. Same cutscene every single time, too. Oh, yay, Wendy's more mini games. Okay, I was complaining before, but now I'm bored, and I want no mini games. We're going to use the directional buttons and the X button to select a decoration and place it on the cake. Place each item. Huh. I think I've seen this before. Place a stick of dynamite, uh, yeah, it's just, just the truck, uh, just, uh, yep, that's, that's a cake. Another one. Sure. This is my best creation. Yep. There. Now, who wouldn't want to eat that? Finished. It's Wendy, delicious. I've got a surprise for you. Thank Did you, Bob. While last Wendy. Each directional button makes us dance a different step. You can watch your last dance again by pressing the playback button. I really, really hate this patronizing voice. It is really starting to grate. I'm just gonna make them stand there like awkward dipshits. So, just pressing random buttons. Okay. That, that's whatever. Good night, Bob. Thanks for all. This is random whatevers. Ugh, this again. Move the bowl around this screen. Where can she be? I get it. You want to make small kids feel smart by giving them the audio the obvious answer and not challenging them anyway whatsoever I'm, I'm not an expert but I don't think that helps their education too much parental options mono stereo back and help what do you say to the parents the items in the office are used to select different jobs choose an item using the directional button oh, then the press Travis's race day, plumbing bubble, Wendy's birthday, bubble trouble. Bubble trouble. Hard. Yeah, it's hard. 
Why do I only some why does some of these only have two mini games? That that's Okay, so this is bubbling. Oh, this this couldn't get boring at all. Ah, uh, and Rolly couldn't get any more grading, could he? Like I said, if my kid was really into building stuff, I wouldn't get them this game. I, I would get them a Lego game. And maybe even the Donkey game. This is just insultingly simple. Like, insultingly simple. It, it's for little kids. You know that the original Mario Brothers, one of the greatest video games ever made, was originally designed for kids, right? And most of the greatest games ever were designed for kids, or at least with kids in mind. Like most of them. At least that's the way it used to be. Now that everything's a uh, hardcore shooter, things are a little bit different. Where can she be? She's behind this layering issue. Dinner time, Pilcher. I'm getting so sick of hearing that. No. Oh, yeah. Back. Back in my day, games respected kids. And well, then again, the PlayStation era was back in my day. Travis's race day. Hey! Uh, sure. Let's let's Scoop. race. You'll be racing against Travis. The race takes three laps around the track. Use the directional buttons to move. Okay, um. Which one am I? On your marks. Get set. Go! Okay, I'm the one that's. They're neck and neck. Scoop has Travis. Well, I mean, the controls are functional at least. That's, that's more than I can say about some games. Watch out, Scoop! Lap two! And how's this lapping when it's a straight line? Well, not straight. There's like no way I can lose this. I'm hitting everything and I'm still in the lead. It's like the opposite of rubber band AI. Where if he gets too close, he decides to slow down. Watch out, Scoop! Video games don't have to let you win to be enjoyable to young kids. I, won. Good job, oh, I lost plenty in Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, and Ape Escape when I was a kid, and, and I still loved it. I mean, back in the NES days, kids played Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. Dizzy, you'll be racing again. Did I, uh, did I just do this? I think, yes, I just did this. End game. Oh, oh! I was expecting racing with, or not racing with, <laughs> looking for the little cat thing. Dizzy. Like I said, not the biggest Bob the Builder fan. On your marks. Get set. Go. I'm sure the cartoon isn't. Uh, 
I'm sure the cartoon is fine. I, I haven't seen it, but I know how bad a preschooler show could be. So, in both of the times we're racing, we're racing against the same opponent. If your kid wants to play a racing game, get them to Crash Team Racing. It is so much more fun. Dizzy is the winner! I can't play this much longer. What else is there? Back. Parental options. Plumbing puzzles. Plumbing puzzle. Oh, puzzles. Ooh. Match the part I hand Bob to the outline on the walls. What have you got for me? This is going to be a, uh, just like another version of one of the things we did earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Oops. This doesn't fit here. Oops. This doesn't fit here. Oh, yeah. Now you decided to have a wonky hit Oops. section. This doesn't fit here. What do you mean it doesn't fit here? This doesn't fit here. It's the fucking radiator. Oops. This doesn't fit here. Oops. This doesn't fit here. Okay, then goes here. This doesn't fit here. Oops. 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 This doesn't fit here. What? Oops. This doesn't fit here. Oh, there's, there's more than one room. Oh. So you take, you give me the radiator, and you go past a complete radiator piece, making it look like it goes... That's just some gray conveyance right there. Oh, and you're afraid it's too hard, so you give them... Just giving them an identical thing of what they're building doesn't make it harder, it just screws up your conveyance. <laughs> Look at how Bob walks like a zombie. Uh, must fix plumbing. Why do we- why is the background music the sound of the ocean? Does Bob live on the coast? I mean, it would make sense if water was sloshing everywhere, but... It seems like the plumbing's off. You know, which would make sense considering he's building it. No high score either. <laughs> fix the leaks. Bob can fix leaks if you move him in front of them using the directional buttons and press the X button. If you can hear. Uh, quality over quantity. Just because you have a million mini games doesn't mean they're, that your game is good. No leak there. Another one of these, huh? Started phoning it in towards the end, which is uh, 
interesting thing to think about considering this game. Considering they were phoning yeah. it in back at the beginning, too. I have played every minigame and Bob the Builder's Can We Fix It. I am done. And that is... Eh. This was tedious. But it was short and that is what I asked for. Next time, uh, maybe I would like, I don't know, an underrated awesome game that no one has ever heard of before. This one is not fun. I would not, I wouldn't even give a child who's a fan of Bob the Builder this. Yeehaw!